happy Sunday. I'm Carla Salinas and we know some of you are starting school very soon and we want to make sure all students are set up for success. We're partnering with HEB and collecting monetary donations and Audrey Trevino with HEB is here to tell us all about it. Audrey, thank you so much for joining us today. Hi Carly, thank you so much for having us. So tell us about this back to school campaign that you guys are holding. Yes, yeah, so every year we have our TearPad campaign which goes to support our children in need for school supplies. So this year we are part partnering up with KRGV to ensure that we continue to spread the word and get as many school kits out to our Valley children. So tell us a little bit about how it works. How can people get involved and really donate? So this is such a special program. So we have created this amazing school supply kit where these are not found in stores. However, they're made special for organizations. They don't have to, you know, sort, you know, supplies and get them into backpacks. All of the supplies come ready to go in these kits. So that saves our organization sometimes, which is pretty neat. Secondly, it's so easy for our community to donate. They can come, they can donate at heb.com. So online, heb.com, just look for a back to school logo. You'll be able to donate there. Or when you're shopping, just look on the payment kiosk and they'll be able to make a quick one, three, seven, or any amount they would like to donate that 100% of their donations go to these kits and stay here in the Rio Grande Valley. Now, Audrey, the campaign ends August 15th. Now, after that, who decides or how do you determine who will get these kits? So we have partnered with two wonderful organizations. So Communities and Schools of Hidalgo County and Communities of Schools in Cameron County. So these organizations support children year round, but back to school is very busy for them. And so we made this very easy to ensure that their students get the supplies they need to go back to school. And Audrey, lastly, why was it so important for HEB to get involved and really give back to the community in this way? It is so important, you know, as a whole community to come together, right? KRGB has been longstanding partners of ours, you know, just to ensure that we continue to support our Valley children, to give them the confidence, you know, to go back to school is as simple as a really neat, cool pencil, a folder, you know, really gives a student that confidence, you know, to go back to school and excel. And just so they know that the community has their back. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Audrey. We really appreciate you. Don't forget you have until Tuesday to make your donation at your local HEB. Many businesses across the valley are also making sure everyone's prepared for the school year. Joining us to tell us about their effort is Miranda Ortega with Texas National Bank. Thank you so much for joining us today, Miranda. Thanks for having me. So tell us about your back to school initiative this year. So we do this back to school drive throughout the entire organization, throughout the whole bank. Um, all eight of our locations, our corporate center, our mortgage center. Uh, we don't we get all kinds of donations backpacks rulers notebooks anything that someone you know would want to donate for for these kids to get them ready for back to school uh, and it's a lot of fun because we allow each of our locations to create their own boxes and we have some examples right here so they kind of get to have a moment of creativity and, and show you know themselves through through these boxes so how long do people have to drop off some of these supplies so the it's already in full swing uh, the last day to donate is Friday August the 18th so we got about two weeks left. Perfect. Is there anything in specific that you guys kind of want or require? No, I mean, like I said, anything, backpacks, notebooks, rulers, pencils, pens, highlighters, all the, all the good things that they need for, for back to school. Well, this is so awesome what you guys are doing for the community. Now, why was it so important for you guys to really get back to the community in this way? So first and foremost, we are a local community bank. You know, we're locally owned and operated. Um, our entire management team is from the Valley, born and raised here. So. The community really is a pillar of, of who we are as an organization, as a bank, and so we find it important to look for any avenue that we can to give back in a positive way. Now, Miranda, who gets to benefit from these supplies? How do you make sure that these get to the right hands? So each of our locations, uh, and we have eight across the valley, we have Mission, McAllen, Edinburgh, San Juan, Westlake, Mercedes, Elsa, and then our newest branch that we just opened in Brownsville off of Ruben Torres. Um, they all get to decide, you know, where they want, who they want to partner up with to, to donate these supplies to. So last year we did various libraries, elementary schools, local nonprofits. They really get to decide who in their community that they would like to, to partner up with to donate these supplies to. 
Perfect. And Miranda, for more information or to find a location near them, where can people go? So we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, Texas National Bank, and then at our website, texasnational.com. We have our locations there and they can you know, give us a call if they need more information or stop by one of our branches. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Miranda. Thank you for having me. You guys at home, make sure you look for one of these boxes so you guys can donate. Classes are back in session and this superintendent is ready for a new year. Terry Capistran is the leader at Point Esbo ISD and joins us today to talk about her number one priority, her students. Terry, thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for allowing us to be here today. So Terry, you are entering your 35th year as an educator. Why is education so important to you? Um, growing up, uh, my role models were my classroom teachers and my classroom principals, and um, that's all I ever knew. Education was in my blood. I knew as soon as I graduated, that was something that I wanted to do. And it's hard to believe that I've been in this business for 35 years. 30 of them have been in Brownsville, and now I'm starting my fifth year as superintendent at Point Decibel ISD. And you and I worked together when the tornadoes hit Laguna Heights. You were on the front lines that day. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, we're prepared for hurricanes, but tornadoes not so much. And when that tornado hit our community, the Laguna Heights area, um, that is something that just totally shocked us. An education system, a school district, is the heart of a community. And so we knew that we needed to be there for our families and our students. And uh, visiting with them and seeing uh, that there was tremendous need. But the outpouring of everyone in the valley, including Channel 5, um, tr tremendously helped these families out when they were um, in so much need. And now we're starting our new school year. We still have approximately 10 families that are still displaced. Um, and we are still going to be there with them, helping them out. I wanted to touch on, because you told me that as soon as you heard, you wanted to make your students smile. So you did something for them. What did you do? So that evening, um, after visiting and literally knocking on every hotel room door, um, went to HEB and bought them bags of goodies um, from cookies and um, chips and little snacks um, and took them to every family that was at the hotel that night. Just a little something, a little bag, a little goodie bag that we were able to do. And that later that night, we also went back. Uh, several of my school board members uh, went with me and. Uh, we provided them with a hot meal and again the community just opened up their arms and their hearts. Those kids are going to remember. It'll become a core memory that you did that for them. So thanks so much for doing that. So for students or staff or parents right now that are watching this segment and getting ready to go back to school, what advice do you have for them this school year? So we're starting another school year. We're excited to welcome back uh, all of our students and uh, I ask all parents to um, remind them that we are there for them. Uh, we have so many opportunities uh, for our students, whether it's in the academics, the dual enrollment opportunities, or the college and career readiness for our, our students. We have one goal uh, as a school district, no different than the parents. We want the very best opportunities for all of our students. And together, partnering school district with the parents, we're able to move mountains for each and every student. Great advice. Thank you, Terry, for empowering the RGB. Thank you so much. This business is making meal prepping easier for this year's back to school season. All the details when Take 5 returns. Having a nutritious meal is important and this business is making it easy one meal at a time. Check out Big Grill in McAllen. Big Grill Story starts with two best friends who shared a love for cooking delicious, healthy meals. Specializing in gourmet macro counted meals, Big Grill has dishes rich in flavor but most importantly, nutritious. Owners Renato and Jose wanted to help the RGB achieve their health and fitness goals. But we have a lot more to offer than just meal preps. 
We have a bunch of healthy sweets. We also have a hot menu. I mean, we have a variety of options from regular options, keto options, breakfast options, so a little bit of everything. Jose tells us something they've always believed in was quality over quantity, and their goal is to surprise their customers with just how tasty healthy food can be. So we really, really uh, take initiative in making sure all of our ingredients are fresh, nothing's ever frozen, everything's you know pretty much going and getting picked up on a daily basis. That way we can uh, continue that fresh process that we've always, always uh, done since day one. That's one thing that we've always practiced and preached and always been really, really big on. Um, not only out, like in the outside of the house and even inside of the house in the kitchen as well. There's a science behind Fit Grill and their food is carefully weighed. Plus, nutrition labels are the first thing you see with every plate so you know exactly what you're putting into your body. We make sure that we look at that digital scale and we see either 5.0 or 4.0. So it's always going to be critical for our portion control so the calories are going to be calorie friendly for anybody who wants to either gain, gain muscle, uh, lose fat, or just have an overall healthy body. Everything that we have does have their, um, its macros on there, protein, uh, your carbs, your fats, the calories as well. Um, that's one thing that we also want to give to our customers because we have a lot of people that come in here and uh, you know they're following certain uh, meal plans, certain uh, calories. You know, Some people are on deficit, some people are trying to gain. Um, so obviously that's something that we also want to um, share and give our customers so they feel more comfortable coming to us with our meals. After talking about all this delicious food, we agreed it was time for a taste test. Okay guys, it's time for a taste test. Okay, so I have these tacos right in front of me and you were telling me that these are actually healthy? That's correct. So we get that question all the time. Okay. Like, why are these tacos healthy? So let me tell you why. These tortillas are all handmade in-house, okay? The steak is actually sirloin steak. We trim out all the fat, so it has very little fat on there, as much protein as possible. And then the portion size is all weighed out. So it's about six ounces of sirloin. We do about one ounce of avocado, a little bit of queso fresco on top. It's just, take a bite. taste it. Here we go. Taste take a it. bite. <laughs> so these tortillas are never dipped in grease. Really good. So it's not greasy, it's lean, nutritious, delicious, and it's good for you. Mm. That's right. Everything I tried was so delicious. And as I tasted these meals, all I kept repeating in my head is, what would happen if someone ate these meals? for maybe like a hundred days Correct. and really gave themselves a chance, yeah. went to the gym, did that lifestyle mm -hmm. change, what would happen? Man, a total transformation. A you total would transformation. totally feel amazing. Not only will you look good, but you will feel good. You would, you would see your energy level just go through the roof. Uh, I mean, there's just so many benefits of doing all those things for a healthy lifestyle. Well, there's only one way to find out what would happen, and that's by visiting Fit Grill in McAllen and taking on the challenge for yourself. I know I'm taking on the challenge. I hope you guys will too. Yes. We'll see you guys here at Fit Grill in McAllen. Hey guys, we're back with another Made in the 956 Extra, and I'm here with Channel 5 News anchor, Trey Serna. So Trey, what do you have for us this week? So Carla, I actually have someone that you all featured on Take 5 before. So I'm from Harlingen, and I live there right now, and I see all sorts of businesses pop up, especially on Facebook. So Samantha Mendoza started Paw Paw Barkery during the pandemic. It's a bakery for dogs. She makes homemade treats without all the added chemicals and preservatives. And Samantha's now expanded her bakery and name. She's now known as Paw Paw Barkery and Meowery because she is also making treats for cats. Now Samantha says that cat treats are a little trickier since cats can't have dairy. That's so amazing. Yeah. I remember giving Archie, my dog, right. one of the treats and he loved it. So I'm sure that all the cats out there are going to have a blast. They're actually really good too. They're, well, she called them human grade, so humans can actually taste them and not and they actually taste okay. So You tried it? I did try it. I did try it. I thought, I thought they tasted really, really good. Yeah, they were <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. So Trey, where can people place their order for a treat? Yeah, so Carla, she tells me that she actually places a lot of her orders. She wants to get a storefront eventually, but if you want to place an order, you can do it online. She, uh, find her on Facebook on Instagram, Paw Paw Barkery, and um, yeah, she wants to continue giving treats to viewers out there and also hopefully expand and have like a full service kind of place where she can board dogs, train dogs, and all sorts of, all things dogs related. So why not, you know? That's so amazing. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you so much for joining us again, Trey. Thank you for having me. Okay, guys, here's what's coming up on Take 5. The biggest birthday celebration is happening at South Potter Island this month, and you're not going to want to miss it. All the details in just two minutes. 
He's an icon, a valley legend, and if you've been to the South Padre Island Birding Center and Alligator Sanctuary, then you know exactly who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Big Padre, and you're invited to his 56th birthday bash. Here to tell us all about the party is Kristen Howard and Gator Jake. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Hi, oh, thank you. Yeah, so, we're excited. Kristen, we'll start with you. So you got to tell us about the birding center in general. I mean, it's such an amazing place to even visit. Yes. Um, so South Padre Island Birding Nature Center Alligator Sanctuary has uh, been, we're going to celebrate 14 years. Um, and it's a nonprofit 501c3, and we rely on gift shop sales, admissions, grants, and donations. Um, four years ago, we became the Alligator Sanctuary, and um, it's been very successful, and we've been doing a lot of educating um, the Rio Grande Valley and the rest of the world about what we do down here, and that, so we're teaching everyone, and um, Gator Jake here, he comes to us from uh, Beaumont, from uh, Gator Country, and he uh, supervises the alligators and the whole alligator program. It's just been really remarkable and special, all the educating that we've been doing the past four and a half years. Yeah, Gator Jake, you have to tell us about Big Padre for our viewers that have never actually met him. Yeah, so he's an amazing alligator. Uh, he's 12 foot six and he's about 800 pounds. Obviously, he'll be turning 56. It's a really cool alligator. Now, him as well as all the rest of our alligators are nuisance alligators. So those are alligators that were in the wild. Um, and someone made the decision to feed them. And once you do that, that is deemed a threat to human life by Texas Parks and Wildlife. Uh, alligators build associations very quickly. And it's the same situation with Padre. So he actually came from Port Arthur. Uh, he was caught near a cleaning station. So the fishermen were coming in every day and cleaning all their stuff and throwing all their scraps to him. Um, so he learned what that meant and one day uh, he decided he wasn't getting enough fish and a uh, guy who had just pulled his boat into the slip felt a big old bump, turned no. around and Padre was trying to climb on the back of his boat. So that's when they uh, called it quits for him. And the unfortunate truth of the matter is with a lot of these alligators, um, especially those that aren't around a sanctuary, they wind up needing to be put down. Uh, so Padre is a lucky alligator that got to come and uh, hang out with us at a sanctuary instead. That's awesome. Now we're getting ready to celebrate his birthday. What can we expect from that birthday bash on the day? So we're celebrating his 56th birthday, which uh, we will have uh, cake and ice cream and uh, cookies. And we're gonna have um, our regular uh, gator talks three times a day. Padre's gonna get something special that day. He's got a special birthday cake. Yeah, <laughs> maybe like a brisket. If you could tell our viewers, you know, one thing about the center or alligators in general, what would you tell them? Yeah, absolutely. And I say this a hundred times a day. Um, the big thing that we try and teach people, um, education is so important. And I tell everyone, there is no such thing as a scary animal. You get asked all the time if you're scared, this or that. There's no such thing as a scary animal. There are scared people and animals that they don't understand. And that's where education can bridge that gap and we can teach people that we live around alligators and it's our job um, as cohabitants of the Rio Grande Valley to learn how to coexist with them. All right, and where can people go to for more information and of course if they want to go to celebrate Big Padre? Okay, you can go to our website um, spibirding.com or our Facebook page spibirding and uh, or you can give us a call 956-761-6801 um, um, or give us an email. Thank you. Well, thank you guys both so much for joining us. Thank and you for having thank us. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be there. Thank you. We I'm going to go. see you there. We <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, guys, again, don't miss out on Big Padre's 56th birthday bash Saturday, August 26th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Looking for a sweet treat? We've got the perfect spot coming right up. Hey parents, treat the kiddos before their first day back at school. This is Rolling with H&E in Brownsville. Hi, my name is Elise and I'm the owner of Rolling with H&E. Uh, Rolling with H&E started by wanting to bring Brownsville something different, something a little more fun. Rolled ice cream, um, it actually originates from Thailand. It's actually known as fried ice cream, but we call it rolled ice cream so a lot more people can understand um, the actual concept and what it is. Ice cream for breakfast sounds like a lot of fun. I do feel like ice cream is a meal. Like it's something you can have at any time of the day. You can never go wrong with a, with a good cup of ice cream. <laughs> I would definitely have to go with the Stereokella. The Stereokella is made of uh, fruity pebbles. 
So it's one of my favorite cereals and it tastes really good inside of the ice cream, so that's, that'd be my first option. <laughs> Rolled ice cream is um, made on a frozen pan. We have a liquid that we pour onto the pan that actually makes the ice cream. The first step is always to chop up all the ingredients. And as you continue spreading it on the pan, it starts to freeze and actually form what the ice cream is. And now I'm gonna spread it so that way I can get to the fun part. And this is everyone's favorite part. And that's it. Rolling with H&E has two locations in Brownsville. For more information, visit their website, rollingwithhne.com, or find them on Instagram and Facebook at Rolling with h and &E. Okay guys, here's a look at what's going on across the valley. RGV Super Anime Fest is happening Saturday, August 26th, and IMIS is hosting a back to school bash on August 19th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Arts and science activities will be going on. Visit imisonline.org for more information. The market at Wild August is happening on August 18th. Go out, enjoy fresh flowers from Wild August, and shop from local vendors. Thank you guys so much for spending your weekend with us. Next week, I'm conquering my fear of heights in a really cool way. So you're going to want to tune in. See you next Saturday at 1030. Have a great week, guys.